welcome to this new video for my channel, The Mental Traveler. I'm Caro Herrera and today I'm going to be talking about, in a spoiler-free way, about the novel The Collector and its film adaptation. The book was written by John Falls and published in 1963 and the movie was released in 1965 starring Terrence Stamp and Samantha Egger and it was directed by the legendary William Wyler. I first discovered The Collector when I was a teenager and because I am an Anglophile who loves British actors and a movie lover when I was in my teens I was watching all of these epics from the 60s starting Vanessa Redgrave, Julie Christie and so on and Terrence Stamp was on my list so when I found The Collector I had to check it out and I saw the movie, I loved it but I hadn't managed to read the book until last week and also my favorite Latin actress is Barbara Mori and she appeared a few years ago at a stage production of the collector and I couldn't see the play unfortunately but at least there were some clips here on YouTube so it was interesting to see these work that I love set in my country but yeah, anyways, I rewatched the movie after reading the book. Before reading it, I hadn't seen it in years. But it kind of did stay with me because as I was reading, I was picturing pretty well all of the scenes that were going on in the film. Oh, and just as a side note, the first time that I ever heard about The Catcher in the Rye, this American classic, was because the characters in the collector discuss it. So now I always link the two books together. The story is about Frederick Kleck, this really lonely, shy man who ends up winning the lottery and decides to use that money to do something really, really, really bad. He kidnaps this young woman whom he's never really met but who he's seen around and feels attracted to her and he has this belief that she's the perfect match for him and among different factors, the fact that he's really shy, he's never had a girlfriend, he doesn't really know how to court a girl, he decides that in order for her to realize that he's a man of her dreams he has to deprive her of her liberty. That woman is called Miranda, she's an art student full of dreams but we get to meet her after she's been kidnapped and in her captivity we learn in more detail who she is, who Frederick is, and how the dynamic between them develops. I find it to be a unique take on the whole kidnapper slash victim relationship, but I don't want to give too much away in case you want to read the book or watch the movie or both. So I'll just say that it's unlike any other storyline of that sort that I've ever encountered. And finally, the title is a reference to Frederick because he likes to collect butterflies. And in a way, that's what he's doing with Miranda, capturing this beautiful being and putting it on display and this like glass globe I give The Collector both the book and the movie a 5 out of 5 stars review. I found that the book was really entertaining because even though I don't really like to read novels that are written as journal entries, this one was entertaining, it was believable, and this really helps to get us into the mindset of the kidnapper and the victim. And I found that the relationship between them to be really engrossing because not only we explore the depths of Frederick and Miranda as individuals, but also because as they get to know each other, they form this really strange dynamic between them, which is not one that I would have expected in a kidnapping story. The novel is written in a particular way though. We begin by learning Frederick's take of the events and then we learn Miranda's, which kind of makes it for all of this discussion about them being unreliable narrators and the reader has to find the truth in their accounts. And that was really challenging and entertaining as a reader to do. And as to the movie, it is really well done. I really enjoy it, even though as I grow older, I have a different take on what's going on. I think the movie Terrence Stamp is a bit too handsome for the part though, but I also like it because it was my introduction to the whole the collector storyline so there's that fondest that I have for it but yeah anyways I recommend you to watch the movie and the book if you like to see how two very different people are put together into this unusual situation and how they deal with that for the moment I believe this is all I have to say about the collector thank you very much for watching my video of it I hope you enjoyed it please let me know if you did if you did and if you agree or disagree with anything I said here I'd love to hear about what you think regarding the collector too the movie the book anything in the description box below you can find a link to the book's Goodreads page and a link to the movie's IMDb page. I'm Gero Herrera, the mental traveler, and I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. I'll be seeing you soon. Goodbye.